I'm Earth Ranger Dave. It's probably hard for you to understand what I was saying. That's because her voices don't travel very well underwater. If only I was a beluga whale. See, belugas have the amazing ability to communicate with each other underwater. They even have their very own language that sounds like this. That's the sound of a beluga call. They use this and something called echolocation for communication and movement to help keep track of predators like killer whales. You probably wonder what echolocation is. Well, here's how it works. Belugas produce a rapid sequence of clicks that passes through an organ in their head called the melon. The melon transforms these clicks into a focused beam of sound that travels through the water at lightning fast speed. These sounds bounce off of objects in the water and return as echoes which are heard and decoded by the belugas. This enables them to determine the distance, speed, size, shape, and direction of the object within the beam of sound. Pretty cool, right? The belugas must be on something, because submarines use techniques similar to echolocation to locate other ships in the waters. It's called sonar. Now here's the problem. Have you ever tried talking to someone when it's noisy? Like when your brother plays his music really loud? This is called noise pollution! So what does this have to do with belugas? Well, with the early melting of the Arctic sea ice caused by climate change, is resulting in more shipping traffic. Some scientists believe that noise pollution is interfering with the beluga's ability to echolocate, which makes it harder for them to find food, stay away from predators, and protect the babies. Now as Earth Rangers, it's our job to help, but how do we do this? Like with many of the issues facing species in the Arctic, the best way we can learn more about how noise pollution impacts belugas is to support scientific research. Reporting live is Caitlin, who's a beluga researcher, to tell us more about the role that research plays in helping to protect Arctic animals like the beluga. As you just heard from Earth Ranger Dave, belugas are amazing animals and are also very sensitive to their environment. By studying belugas, we can not only help to protect belugas, but also other Arctic wildlife and the habitats that they share. By studying noise pollution in the Arctic, we can increase our understanding of how it affects belugas. We can make better decisions about how to develop in the Arctic in a way that does not harm Arctic wildlife. For example, we can make sure that important areas for belugas, like where they have their babies, are off limits for ships. It is research that helps us to ensure that there are healthy populations of belugas for the future. Thanks, Caitlin. Now it's time to take action. We're asking all Earth Rangers to join forces and help protect beluga whales.